Now, most speakers understand the importance of telling a story and making a point. After all, that's the essence of public speaking. But let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a story that was all over the place? Now, be honest. Have you ever given one? (laughs) Me too. And this happens because we start developing our stories in the wrong place. We need to start creating our message with our foundational phrase. So what is this? It's the phrase upon which we build our story, our humor, our activities, or whatever other anchors we tend to use. And it's also the takeaway line for our audience members. So here are a couple of examples of foundational phrases that I use. Your dream is not for sale. What got you here won't get you there. Change small and change often. Actions speak louder than words. Now, what did you notice about those foundational phrases? You probably noticed that they're short and to the point. So always remember this. Your foundational phrase should be fewer than 10 words. When I ask my audiences why, they usually say things like, well, so your audience will remember it or so you'll remember it. And those are good answers. But there's a more important reason. It's because fewer than 10 words forces you to be crystal clear on your message. Trust me, if your message isn't clear to you, it doesn't stand a chance to be clear to your audience. Now, there are some folks out there who will say, well, if you can write your main message on the back of a business card, that means it's clear enough. Uh Uh-uh. I say to them, you have absolutely no idea how small I can write. I mean, I can write a paragraph on the back of a business card, but fewer than 10 words forces you to be crystal clear. So again, this is the only lesson that will exceed five minutes, but I think it's so important for you to listen to this live example of me giving a story with a foundational phrase. Being the world champion is a blessing and a curse. You said it. I mean, consider this. If you have been walking towards me in the Chicago airport two days after I won the world championship, You would have seen my wife on one side of me and me carrying this gigantic crystal trophy (laughs) just walking through the Chicago area. And, of course, everybody's looking at me like, who is that? Is that, honey, is that Denzel Washington? (laughs) You didn't have to laugh that much. (laughs) How about Blair Underwood? Blair Underwood? Blair Underwood? Flavor Flav, Flavor Flav. <laughs> but this, <laughs> you're like, yeah. <laughs> but but this is when I realized that my life would never be the same. This petite lady in a pink dress runs up to me in the middle of the concourse. Everybody's watching, and she starts reading the bottom of my trophy in front of everybody. She says, "Hmm, 1999 World Champion of Public Speaking. Hmm." Say some things. <laughs> and I was speechless. <laughs> but that's when I realized no matter where I go in life, people are going to say, hey, would you mind saying some things? Raise your hand if you've been to the Bahamas. Okay, so I go to the Bahamas. I attend a church service. The pastor comes out and says, you know, we heard you were coming. <laughs> While you're here... Would you mind giving us maybe a 15-minute motivational speech before I start? (laughs) How do you turn down God? (laughs) You you ever been on a teleseminar as an attendee? Been on a teleseminar? Raise your hand if you've been on the telephone. You've been on the telephone? (laughs) You're looking at me like, what is a telephone? So so I'm on this teleseminar. I called up. I'm just an attendee. I said, this is Craig Valentine checking in from Columbia, Maryland. I'm an attendee. Craig? Hey, while we have you, (laughs) before we start, can you give us a 10-minute motivational speech? I was like, now? (laughs) But that's when I came to realize a fundamental difference in my life. When it comes to speaking, I can no longer get ready to speak. I have to stay ready to speak. My new motto is don't get ready, stay ready. Don't get ready to stay. Because then you can take advantage of all the speaking opportunities. Don't trip me. You can take advantage of all <laughs> speaking opportunities there are. Finish this for me. Good luck is when preparedness meets opportunity. You want to get lucky? Stay ready. Did that sound like a Viagra commercial at all? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Welcome back. Did you get the phrase? Don't get ready, stay ready. Now here are two more important things you need to know about the foundational phrase. Number one, it's the barometer for your story. Have you ever asked, I wonder what I should keep in this story and I wonder what I should leave out? <laughs> well, the answer is easy. If it supports the foundational phrase, keep it in. If it doesn't, throw it out. The phrase determines what stays. And number two, the phrase is the takeaway message for your audience members. It's what they should remember for each story. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, I used to tell stories for the story's sake. But today, because I build my stories on foundational phrases for my audience, it automatically keeps the focus on what they will get out of it. So my messages are much more valuable now. So that's it. That's the lesson for this week. Do yourself a favor and build upon a foundational phrase. I'll talk to you again next week. And until then, keep speaking up.